I've actually been dreaming about doing this album for many, many years. I had this idea, I didn't know exactly what it would be, but it was basically all those encore that I've played throughout my life, all those pieces that, that I love, that have a very special meaning for me. Some of them I played as early as when I was seven years old, like the Chopin Waltz, and all of them really tell a story, and then they remind me of, of a moment, of a person, uh, of a situation, and I think that's really very special. The most difficult part was to choose the pieces, because I could have done five albums like that, so I had to kind of decide which one I wanted to do. I think it just shows a very, a very intimate part, in a way, of, of my, my musical life and, and history, and I thought that was what is so special about this album. It's all pieces that I love for different reasons, and we put them all together, and somehow it makes, it's like, it's like having a reunion with a lot of friends. You put all those wonderful friends together, some you haven't seen for a long time, some pieces I haven't played since I was 10 or 15 years old. I remember like the Couperin and some others, I just haven't played for so long. But it was wonderful to play them again and put this all together. It was a fantastic journey to practice on this album. And it just gives a very unique material. I think that is something I've never done and probably will never do again. This is just this very special carte blanche. And, that, and the title, I should say, came because we didn't know how to call it. We went through all kind of ideas. And, and suddenly, uh, Dominique Adeca said, you know, we've been calling this album here inside Carte Blanche just because people ask me what's going to be in it. And he kept saying, I give Carte Blanche to Jean-Yves. You can put whatever you want in there. And it stick to it. And I think it's a fantastic name because it really is a Carte Blanche. It really is my album. album. And I think for once, I just chose every single piece that's in there. I think the, the start was, to, again, was to put the pieces together. Which one am I going to do? And once I had that down, then, of course, I had this very unique year as well, where I had no concerts, no travel. I was just in my home in Los Angeles, and I had all the time of the world. There was no pressure, there was no schedule. Uh, I could just practice how much I wanted, however I wanted, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, not practice one day if I didn't feel like it. Uh, so it was a very unique uh, process and, and I loved it and I spent a lot of time and some days I would just spend on one piece sometimes just over and over and thinking what I want to do with it and then, then I just went through all of them in different order and, but it, I lived with them for all this time because I had, I had the time. There was no pressure that usually I know the recording is whatever the date is, but you know, I'm just so busy up to there that it's in the last week or the last minutes that I start getting really ready for it, which is, it's a different thing. You know, I have lots of adrenaline and it's a different process. I think there's a lot, I think it's an incredibly as I already said, intimate and personal. I think I'm showing a little bit insides uh, emotionally that might not be in another album with other kind of music. Uh, and a lot of this music, actually quite a lot of them, most people have never heard me play. So I think for those fans out there, I'm so happy that I can offer them that and I hope they will really appreciate every, every piece and love it as much as I love each of them really.